Dora, He-Man's twin sister and defender of the Crystal Castle. This is Spirit, my beloved steed. Fabulous secrets were revealed to me the day I held aloft my sword and said, For the honor of Grayskull! A few others share this secret. Among them are Life Hope, Madame Raz, and Cowl. Together, we and my friends of the Great Rebellion strive to free Etheria from the evil forces of Horda. <laughs> Mystical was freed from an evil power. <laughs> an evil power? Well, it all started when Spirit and I were riding down a country road. I was on my way back to Whispering Woods when I heard the most beautiful music. It's Bo. I should have known. Uh-oh. Hordesmen. We'd better see what they're up to. You sure that's him? Yeah. They say one of the rebels plays music. It must be him. Then let's grab him. Hordak will be pleased. Besides, I hate music. Me too. You know, Spirit, it's too nice a day to let Hordak's henchmen ruin it for Bo. Hmm. Maybe we should teach them a little music appreciation. I'd love to teach them a lesson they won't forget. For the honor of Grayskull! But your little performance has just been cancelled. It's Shira. Where, where are you taking us? Since your feeling about music seems pretty narrow, I thought I'd give you a broader look at the world. Kind of a bird's eye view. Don't drop us. I'll try not to. Everybody off. Have a nice ride home, fellas. We'll show her. As soon as we get back to our tank, we'll show her. Oh, no, we won't. Yeah. I thought you'd be lonesome without your tank. Give my regards to Hordak. Oh, how are we going to explain this to Hordak? Uh, how are we going to get down? Ah, thank you. Thank you, my friends. Your applause is much appreciated. That was a very lovely melody, Bo. Adora, what are you doing out here? I'm on my way back to Whispering Woods. So am I. Why don't we travel together? The road does lead through the dark forest of Mysticor. You'll be better off to have a man with you. Oh, thank you. I'll feel much safer with you. 
And so you should. <laughs> Bo and I rode toward the dark forest, unaware of the strange adventure which lay just ahead of us. Did you hear that? Oh, it's coming from over there. She must have slipped over the edge of the gully. Just lie quietly. We'll have you out of there in a minute. While you help the woman. Ready? Pull away. Can you stand? Oh, yes. I'm fine. And most grateful. I wish I could return the favor, but I am a poor old woman. Your thanks are more than enough payment. There is one thing I can offer you. A warning. Be most careful as you continue on this path. The dark forest can be an evil and dangerous place for innocent travelers. We thank you for the advice. <laughs> and we wish you a safe journey, too. <laughs> well, the old woman was right. The forest became darker and more threatening every step of the way. Danger seemed to lurk behind every tree. And then, suddenly... Take them! That's what you think. Let's go, Adora. Take them to the castle. been here before? I never knew this place even existed. Quiet! The inside of the castle was filled with dark enchantment. Whoever lived in it had very evil powers. What have you brought me? We took these two in the forest, mistress. They'll make fine... Who are you? And why have we been brought here? Silence! I am Mortella, mistress of this castle and the most powerful sorceress in the realm. You are here because I require more slaves. Slaves? I said silence! Your slave task will be to keep the fire burning brightly. It must never, ever burn low. Never! If it does, you will be sorry. Very, very sorry. Now, I will personally see you both placed in the dungeon <laughs> until I need you. <laughs> has no bottom, so think twice before you try to cross it. Forces of magic, hear me well. Take these two inside that cell. To get too comfortable, I'll be back for you soon. So you and Bo were locked in a dungeon behind the bottomless pit, and you didn't have your sword. How did you get away? Patience, Carol. We tried to work out a plan, but nothing seemed to work. <laughs> These 
bars are too strong to try to loosen. I'm afraid that... <gasps> Bo! Look! It's the woman we rescued. Hello? Over here! She saw us. What do you suppose she's doing around a place like this? I don't know. But she's coming inside the castle. And this, my lady, this, this is ground from the root of the Magica tree. It is well suited for sleeping potions. Excellent. I'll take those. And, uh, I want the transformation powder, too. As you wish. Your herbs have been very useful. Make sure you bring more before the month is out. But don't you ever try to leave Dark Forest. Remember, my power will find you. Now leave me. I have more important matters to attend to. Yes, thank you, my lady. Kindness has not been forgotten. I've come to help you. But what can you do? The pit is bottomless, and we're behind bars. Oh, I might be able to do something. to offer. Oh, you must leave this place as quickly as you can. Get out of Mr. Core. But we can't get across the pit the way you can. No, you can't. What are those cards? Yes. I use them for tricks in the magic shows I do. Give them to me, please. <laughs> That's some trick. I don't suppose you'd show me how to do that. Follow me and hurry. After you, Adora. Thank you. I think. source of Mortella's power. She even conjured up her knights out of the magic flames. The fire has allowed her to rule these many years. Bo, let's split up. We'll lead them away. Stay here. You'll be safe. Seize them!
those knights aren't real. Magic. Evil magic. Obviously. I'm the only one who can handle this. Three against one doesn't seem very fair to me. Who are you? How dare you trespass here? I am She-Ra, and I don't like the way you're treating my friend. How about a game of follow the leader? <laughs> on these two. Fools! This will freeze you where you stand. Hey, <laughs> for this outrage! I'd better put out that magic fire before she frees herself. I'll teach those fools to toy with me. As the fire grows higher, my power increases. No, Mortella. Your evil reign cannot continue. I'll stop you once and for all. You dare to challenge me? <laughs> I thought you'd learned your lesson. Shira. Oh. I slipped away while you were checkmating those knights. We've got to do something to stop Mortella before she whips up another spell. I'm working on it. And that drawbridge is going to help me. Drawbridge? Stand back. What now? We cross over. Can you get a line to that tree over there? Easy as bibble pie. to drive the moat water right into the castle. That takes care of you. Now I'll deal with your friends. Fires out and look. My true form returns. Mortella's spell is lifted, and it's all thanks to you two. Oh, thank you, my friends. But, but who are you? I am Castaspella, true queen of Mystical. And now that I have returned, let my kingdom be as it was once more. And that's the story, Cal. And that's why we're celebrating. <laughs> that's a wonderful story. I always liked it. Happy endings. Adora, it's getting warm in here. How about you and I taking a walk? I could use some water. Some water for Bo, if you please. No, please. 
Sorry, Cowl, I forgot to ask for a glass. You have to say exactly what you mean around Castispella's magic castle. <laughs> beloved steed. Fabulous secrets were revealed to me the day I held aloft my sword and said, for the honor of Grayskull! A few others share this secret. Among them are Light Hope, Madam Raz, and Cowl. Together, we and my friends of the Great Rebellion strive to free Etheria from the evil forces of Horda. <laughs> will fly to me like the wind Arrow, and fly right into my trap. Arrow. You are smart, Captain. Really smart. Tell us again, Adora. How, how did Seahawk rescue you from the horde? I think that's enough stories for tonight. It's almost bedtime. Yeah, do, do you think Seahawk will ever come here? Oh, that would be wonderful, wouldn't it, Adora? Wonderful, huh? Oh, yes. I think Adora kind of likes him. Huh? Likes who? Seahawk, you twig brain! Ah, look out for that! I think Madam has arrived. Put this back. Madam Raz, 
Can we talk? Of course, dearie. Now, what is it you wanted to talk about? Um, Seahawk. Seahawk? That pirate rascal? Well, pirate or not, he risked his life to save me. I suspect in your heart that you'd rather fight for freedom than for profit. Well, I never cared much for those horde swabs anyway. All right, She-Ra. From now on, Seahawk is with the Rebellion. Oh, yes. What a story. So romantic. Romantic for She-Ra. <gasps> uh-huh! You think the Seahawk likes She-Ra more than he likes Adora. And I can't tell him they're both me. Then, perhaps Adora should tell him how Adora feels. Adora! Adora! Come quick! What is it, Sprag? Back at camp! Uh, no! Yatra! Be terrible trouble! You gotta hurry! Let's go! I'll leave immediately. Be careful. Catra would love to get her paws on you and Seahawk. Then she'll have her chance. Madam Raz, find Seahawk and tell him what's happened. No sooner said than done, dearie. Give it all you got, Ruby! What do we do, Adora? You all stay here and take care of a ranger. I'll have She-Ra's help. she -Ra. <laughs> And she'll get ah, quite a shock. Great idea. I don't like this. Nor I. Oh, you, you, you alone. Oh, stop that fawning, you furball. 
Brown put Shira in a force field tube before she wakes up. Shira! <laughs> Catra's taken the Elves of Seaworthy. Catra? Adora thought he might want to help. And help I will. Swen, get ready to raise the solar sails. Aye, aye, Captain. Oh, enjoying yourself, Shira. <laughs> Laugh while you can, Cat Lady. Because once I get out of this, I'm going to trim your whiskers. Ah, here. The solar sailor's headed this way. <laughs> Top speed. Oh, at last. I've got that scoundrel Seahawk right where I want him. Seahawk is headed right for a trap. <laughs> They've no weapons at all. Now? What? I want them close to us. Then we freeze them right out of the water. <laughs> it's a trap. Lay off. Lay off. Like that, and we'll be sunk. So good. Now to find Shira. Shira, I'm here. Seahawk, look out! Catra. Don't know you worm. Flattery will get you nowhere. You won't be so brave when you're warming a cell on Beast Island. Oh, I don't think that's going to happen. Um, then you're an even bigger fool than I thought. <laughs> Swen, I could kiss you. That's it, boys. Give him another broadside. Yeah, yeah more for me, too. Yeah.
Uh oh. Better act quick. long time. Shira! I don't suppose you need any help, Hawk. Oh, of course not. I've got him right where I want him. I can see that. <laughs> hey, Grizzlor! Catch! <laughs> Thanks, Shira. Say goodbye, Grizz. Uh oh <laughs> Don't mention it. Get the elves to your ship, Seahawk. Look! The elves and Seahawk! Swen, drop the platform. Aye, aye, Captain. Let's go! Oh, dearie my, they need help! Oh, let's see now, um... Bazzle Dazzle, Bazzle Roll, let us have a great big ball! Whip up a great big wall. That was much more fun. Come on, Shira, we're leaving. You go. I'm going to make sure that prison ship never takes anyone to Beast Island again. Ah, what's happening? Seahawk ship is leaving with all of our prisoners. Wow! What are you waiting for, fool? Activate all blasters. Bring that ship down! Yes, Seahawk captain. Time to move. Blasters locked on Seahawk ship. Dora, hello. What are you doing here? 
Uh, I thought Shiro would meet us. I'm sorry to disappoint you. Disappoint me? I'm not disappointed, I'm glad. Huh? Shiro's fun to fight beside, but I'd much rather spend time with you. You... you would? If you'll take a walk with me, we can talk about it. I'd like that. Madam Raz. Oh, Flynn. I thought you might like to have a little stroll with me. I could tell you all about my adventures with the Seahawk. Oh, Flynn. Oh, dearie my. Well, uh, well, you bet I would. Oh, that is, I, I think I can spare a few moments. Uh, I need a minute. Hey, what about me? Well, why don't you just find yourself a nice, friendly mop? My beloved steed, fabulous secrets were revealed to me the day I held aloft my sword and said, For the honor of Grayskull! Few others share this secret. Among them are Light Hope, Madam Raz, and Cowl. Together, we and my friends of the Great Rebellion strive to free Etheria from the evil forces of Horda. <laughs> annual trickster competition. Our first competitor will be Frosta. Glimmer, you're next. Well, hello, Terry. Have you come to watch the competition? Oh, no, Madam Rouse. I expect to be in the competition. Well, actually, my dear, I too was considering entering. I uh, thought I might recite some poetry. <laughs> I don't think poetry is quite what they had in mind, Cal. They want to see feats of strength. Or magic tricks. Well, now, I see. With you two entering, everyone is sure to have a good laugh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's true. <laughs> well, uh, now see here, young lady, that's no way to talk to your elders. And what feats of strength are you going to do, Mr. Cow? Well, from what I hear, when the going gets tough, you get lost. <laughs> Why so sad, Madam Raz? This is a day for fun and laughter. Well, we've just been reminded how useless we are. Oh, don't be discouraged, my friends. All that matters is that you do your best. Uh, ooh, but, but, but Madam's tricks never work right, and I have no strength, and, and... Remember, the only true strength comes from the heart. So please, come inside. It's time for Shira to do her stuff. Oh, you go on, dearie. Show them your best. I think I'll just go back to camp. Yeah, me too. I don't feel much like having fun right now. <laughs> Madam 
Adam, Cowl, wait. Hmm. Maybe it's best to let them work it out for themselves. I'll check on them after the competition. For the honor of Grayskull! is supposed to be next, but I don't see her. Here I am. Oh, wonderful, Shira. Absolutely wonderful. Pardon me, noble lady. May I enter this competition? <sighs> Why, of course, my dear. In Mystical, all are welcome to compete. Please, go right ahead. Drop ye down in one great heap. Drop ye down. Be still and sleep. Uh, must stop her. Oh, <laughs> oh no! Now, my dear Shira, I have a surprise in store for you. Sacred words that none do know. From nameless book with mystic glow. Take her now beyond below. Salistica, Salistico. You are entering the sixth dimension. You fall into a place beyond time and space, never to return. <laughs> Shira. It's too dangerous and uh, too far. Besides, who would lead us? I can lead you! <laughs> we are in big trouble. Where am I? Well, I hope this is the way out. I have to time my leap to get past those force beams. Uh, you see? Uh, we must cross the freezing mountains before we can reach the valley. It's so far away. Oh, come, come, dearie. We've already been through this. We're the only ones left to save She-Ra. <laughs> oh, but we are such little creatures, and so... Weak? Is that the word you were looking for? <laughs> well, yes. Who are we fooling? We can't save anyone. We have no strength. Remember what Adora told us? True strength comes from the heart. Now, if we believe in ourselves, we can do it. Well, I believe in us. Good! So do I! Cowl? <laughs> well... Uh, I suppose I believe in us, too. Uh, maybe. Then let's go! Time the wasted! Shira! I'm so 
thirsty. What's that sound? Oh my, a waterfall. I wonder if ghosts like water. I hope that water's deep enough. Uh-oh, here they come. Come on in. The water's fine. So you don't like to get wet. Let's see what I can do about that. This should do just fine. All you guys need is a good shower. Oh. Had enough? Good. It's time I was on my way. You've done well so far, warrior woman. But no one escapes a list of cars world. No one! <laughs> Oh, this mountain. Well, all we have to do is uh, get down. <laughs> a polar beast. Madam, there's a spell, a spell. Dearie, oh, my razzle dazzle, uh, diesel zed. Uh, what we need now is a big, wide bag! Whoa! Oh, dear boy! No, it wasn't bed that I wanted! Oh, oh, what was it? Sled, madam, sled! Not bed! <laughs> Never mind about the bed! Look what's coming! It's a good thing we have this soft mattress to land on. See? A bed was a much better choice than a sled. Yes, madam. As I told you, I have no time to waste. Can you direct me out of here or not? Of course. I can direct you, but no one has made it past the third level. And that's the only way out. The third level? Actually, you might make it, since you have already come this far. And after the third level? There is a large iron door that opens with this key. The key disappeared. After you complete the third level, then you get the key. I don't trust you. Ah, but you have no choice. <laughs> Are you sure you, madam? You'll never find a glowing 
book here unless you search in the inner library. Uh, where's that? Where's, where's that? that? Through that door. But no one has gone in there in centuries. The books are in a language not used in a thousand years. Come, dearies, to the inner library. Good luck finding your book. You little uglies want me to stay and keep you company, but I really must go. Sword to pole! <laughs> You must stay. I will make a fourth and a fifth level. You are the best I've ever seen. Well, thank you, I think. Sorry I can't accept your hospitality any longer. You won't get through the iron door without my golden key. Oh, really? Don't think it's been fun, because it hasn't. Bye! It can't be! That's impossible! You may have escaped me, but you'll never get back to your world. You are doomed to remain in the sixth dimension forever! <laughs> Zero! Hey, how can anyone find a glowing book under all this dust? Boo! Wait! Stop! I see something. The glow! Look at the glow! Grove, you found it! This is it! The nameless glowing book! You can read this ancient language? And Madam Age is pretty ancient herself. <laughs> I heard that. Is everyone ready? Good. <laughs> Let's get moving then. And now, you know, Madam, be, be, be very careful with this spell. If you make one mistake. I know, Broom, I know. Sacred words that none do know. From ancient book with mystic glow. Take us now, beyond, below. Celestica! Celestica! <laughs> your lives to save me. <laughs> well, just like you have risked yourself time and time again for us. Uh, but let's get out of here. I used up my courage for the next three years. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll sure be glad when the transport from Beast Island arrives. Yeah, me too. This place gives me the creeps. 
Yeah, give me the Fright Zone any day. Oh, wait a minute. Did, did you hear that sound? I hear it. Let's check it out. You go first. Aren't you two a little far from home? It's Shira. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> Wait for me. They're afraid of me? Wait till Hordak finds out they've left their post. Madam, can you wake our friends from Shadow Weaver's sleeping spell? Oh, dearie my, of course. Stand aside. <laughs> Be careful, madam. I always am. Now, let's see. Uh, Dazzle Dizzle, Drizzle Drake. Sleeping friends, now please, shit! Hey, hey wh what's ha happening? Awake, madam, not shake. They're awake, are they? And so... This year's prize goes to Madame Gaz, Broom, and Cow. Three courageous hearts who saved not only Shira, but all of Mystical. Hooray! Frankly, I am more nervous now than when we were in the Valley of the Lost. <sighs> My hero. <laughs> <laughs> My beloved steed, fabulous secrets were revealed to me the day I held aloft my sword and said, For the honor of Grayskull! Few others share this secret. Among them are Light Hope, Madam Raz, and Cowl. Together, we and my friends of the Great Rebellion strive to free Etheria from the evil forces of Horda! <laughs> against the rebellion has been less than admirable. That will soon be changed, Horde Prime. It had better. I'm taking a great risk leaving the Velvet Club with you. This ship is the most powerful in the galaxy. Once I had two, and I still would have if you hadn't. Please, Slime. Uh, uh, Prime. It will be safe in my hands. I'll use it very... Use it? You had better not even touch it. 
touched it. If I find so much as a scratch on it, sorry. Very, very sorry. Of course, great one, of course. It will be safe in my hands. It better be. Yes? What is it? You bug-eyed buffoon. Uh, your ship is ready to take you to Tropica. Ah, good. I've been looking forward to this vacation for 500 years. Take me to the ship. There he goes. Horde Prime, the ruler of the galaxy. Off for a two-week vacation on a tropical planet. Two weeks. Two weeks in which I alone will control the Velvet Glove, the most powerful warship in the galaxy. Mm, I thought Lord Prime said... Never mind what he said. What he doesn't know won't hurt him. I'm not going to hurt his precious ship. I'm just going to use it for a little while. Mm, you mean to conquer she and the Rebels? The Rebels will be only the beginning, Mantena. After I use the power of this ship to defeat them, I'll warp this ship to Eternia and conquer that too! <laughs> <laughs> See why I've called you here, Adam. Hordak plans to attack our planet. And with a ship like that, he might just succeed. Exactly. That is why you must go to Etheria. It will take the combined power of She-Ra and He-Man to stop Hordak's evil plan. Well, then I'd better get ready. By the power of Grey Skull. <laughs> soon be ready to transport you to Ethereum. Good luck, He-Man. Thank you, Sorceress. I'll walk this ship to Eternia and conquer that, too! Oh, that blasted hard bully boy, that conniving claim jumper! Eternia is mine to conquer! Mine! That ship, he will be hard to beat. I have to stop him. But how? Not even He-Man could beat that flagship. Of course! <laughs> if I steal that ship, not only will I stop Hordak, but I'll be able to conquer He-Man and Eternia as well! The universe will be mine to rule! <laughs> Looks like uh, some sort of spaceship, but it's so huge. It's big, all right, and that could mean big trouble. Where are you going? To find Shira. It looks like there's going to be trouble, Spirit, and that means I'd better say. For the honor of Grayskull! to find out. Up with wind! into a frozen wasteland. Fire! Uh-oh. Sword 
to shield. Shira's intercepted the beam. Even more power, Multibot. More power coming out. Touches the ground, it will freeze everything. More power! More power! Incredible power can't hold it with a hand. Oh! He Man! He Man! How? No time to explain. Push! What's he doing here? No matter. Even the both of them are no match for this ship. More power, Multibot. Uh, more, more power it is. I never felt such power. It's working. It's working. Full power, Multibot. Uh, full power. Great power down. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Much longer. Huh? What? Who turned off the beam? I did, Hordak. Skeletor! You treacherous turncoat, two-faced traitor! Since when did you start helping the rebellion? The rebellion means nothing to me, Hordak. And I help no one but myself. And speaking of helping myself, I intend to help myself to this ship. Oh, you do, do you? Well, you'll have to take it from me. I had anticipated that, that is. So if that's the way you want it, then that's the way you get it. Nice try, Boneface. But have some of mine. <laughs> Hordak are fighting over the ship. The battle of evils. If either one of them gets that ship, we are in big trouble. He-Man, we have to attack them now, while they're fighting each other. But how? We'll have to think of something, and right away, before either one of those two evil monsters gets control of the most powerful warship in the galaxy. before one of them beats the other. I think I have an idea. This grappling line was a present from the sorceress. It's unbreakable and with unlimited length. I think it may be just what we need. But He-Man, that flagship is in outer space. Can even you throw that far? I don't know. Only one way to find out. Try! <laughs> fish I ever hooked. Think you can climb this line? Long as you hold it steady.
I just hope I can get there in time. This control panel is damaged. I'll have to repair it! Uh, the air's getting thin. Sword to helmet! That's better. Yeah, that should do it. With this ship in my command, the whole galaxy will soon fall before the awesome might of Skeletor! Hail Skeletor! <laughs> oh, no! Uh-oh, Skeletor must have won the fight. He's stealing the ship. I gotta stop him. But that's not going to be easy. It works! The mightiest ship in the galaxy is mine! Now it's back to Eternia to conquer the planet! I have to stop the ship before it drags me into space. That mountain, that might just do it. thinks that even his strength is a match for this ship. He'll soon discover his mistake. I'll just increase the power. Skeletor's trying to break away. I must hold him. Still holding, He-Man? You pitiful fool. Do you really think you're a match for the most powerful ship in the galaxy? They say I'm the most powerful man in the universe. And I guess now I better prove it. <laughs> Feeling the strain, He-Man. Well, feel a bit more. Let's see if we can resist the full power of this ship. Stone is starting to split. Even my brother cannot hold this ship much longer. I have to do something, but what? Of course, that asteroid. That might be just what I need. I can't hold it. <laughs> he man can't hold on much longer. The most powerful ship in the galaxy will be mine. Mine. <laughs> Almost there. Almost there. Now! Helmet to sword! No! Oh, oh, my beautiful, fresh, stolen ship! Ruined! Oh. P-Man, are you all right? I think so. When the rope broke, it took me by surprise. I fell down here. Swiftwind, this rope didn't break. Shira must have cut it. I hope she knows what she's doing. Shira always knows what she's doing. Sword to helmet. Phew. I wasn't sure how much longer I could hold my breath. Now to see what Skeletor is up to. Destroyed. Totally destroyed! What's that? A fusion alarm! 
The main drive is about to explode. <laughs> That's good enough for me. I'm going back to Snake Mountain. The rat deserts the sinking ship, but leaves the other rat behind. And the ship is about to explode. I have to get him out of here. give you air to breathe while we get out of here. Well, Hordak, we lived through that explosion, but our troubles are just beginning. We're entering the atmosphere. If I don't do something fast, we'll oh, burn up during re-entry. Helmet to shield! I hope this works. Look. It's She-Ra. Quickly, Swiftwind. After her. <laughs> that cloud cooled us off. Now, if I can just slow us down. Shield to parachute. Shira, you're safe. Told you she knew what she was doing. Where am I? Where's Skeletor? Skeletor is back on Eternia. And you are a prisoner of the rebellion. A prisoner? <laughs> Me? Not a chance, he man. Let him go, my brother. He'll be in enough trouble with Horde Prime. You're right. I wonder how Hordak will explain the loss of Horde Prime's flagship. Hordak had better have a good story. It was a wonderful vacation, Hordak. I feel as if nothing could spoil my day. Tell me, how is my flagship? Uh, uh, well, well uh, let me explain. And I'll bet Hordak is trying to explain what happened to Horde Prime's flagship right now. <laughs> Hordak better make it a good story. Shh, listen. Yes, Hordak's story wasn't good enough. <laughs> Shira and I want to talk to you about something that's very personal. Your body. Remember, it's your body and no one should touch you in a way that you feel is wrong. I'll get anybody who tries it. It's not that easy, Orko. It's hard for a young person to admit that he or she has been touched in a bad way. If you've been touched that way, don't be ashamed. Tell someone you trust, like your parents, your doctor, your teacher, or counselor, or your minister or rabbi. Right, Orko? Right on! I am Adora, He-Man's twin sister and defender of the Crystal Castle. This is Spirit, my beloved steed. Fabulous secrets were revealed to me the day I held aloft my sword and said, For the honor of Grayskull! She Others share this secret. Among them are Light Hope, Madame Raz, and Cowl. Together, we and my friends of the Great Rebellion strive to free Etheria from the evil forces of Horda. <laughs> A story, madam, please. Oh, please, a story about She-Ra. 
Well, now, um, let me see. Ah, I know. I'll tell you how Shira made Bright Moon safe from the Horde. Ooh, that sounds like a good one. Oh, it is, it is. It all started a little while after the Rebellion's first victory over the Horde. Adora and I got a message that Castle Bright Moon was under attack, and we flew there to see how we could help Queen Angela. <laughs> maintain the castle's defense. Madam, the gate's not open. It will be, I hope. <laughs> open the gate! Hurry! Look out! What? Ah! Oh, dearie my. Is it always so dark in here? Stopped for the moment, but this is only the beginning. Shadow Weaver is behind this, and she means to continue these attacks. But why? Your magic is obviously strong enough to ward them off. It is for now, but my magic is tied to the power of this castle, a power which comes from the light of our Ethereum moons. And in a few days, there'll be an eclipse. The moons will be dark. Then these attacks are only meant to weaken your power. Yes. And when the moons are completely dark, Shadow Weaver will strike in earnest. And without the castle's full power, I won't be able to stop her. Bright Moon's magic will be gone! What can we do, Queen Angela? There is one hope. We must find the Crystal Castle. What's the Crystal Castle? According to the old tales, it's the most magical place on Etheria. It holds all the secrets from the days of the First Ones, the founders of our world. But Mother, that's only a story. It's not true. Some think so, but I believe it exists, though I know of no one who's ever seen it. I do. Ago has seen it. At least that's what I heard. Ago? Oh, dearie my. Who's Ago? He is King of the Trolls of Spycart. Trolls? Oh, but they hate everyone, especially humans. They'd never help us. We don't really know that until we speak to them. And if Argo is the only one who's seen the castle, I'll have to find him. Oh, dearie my, you can't do that. It's much too dangerous. Don't worry, madam. Shira will take me to the trolls. I should be safe enough with her, don't you think? Are you sure about this, Adora? They say the trolls eat horses. Oh, don't be so quick to believe what you hear, Spirit. For the honor of Greyfell! Swifty, let's land and take a look around. If you say so. 
That's not true. I could easily free myself, and I'll prove it. <laughs> now, can we talk this over reasonably? Right to the Troll King. Looks like your plan worked. Now to get inside. I think one good shove should. <laughs> These trolls are sure tricky. Hmm. Looks like a tight squeeze. Got to get loose before these silly rocks close in. Better do this fast. Could be so unfriendly. This is the worst attack yet, and the castle's power is already weakening. Well, I hope Mother can hold out until Adora can find the Crystal Castle. Such as me. I need something to cool this hothead down. Hmm. Let's try this. No. So much for playing with fire. Now to find Argo. Shira, and I need your help. I must find the Crystal Castle, and I'm told you've seen it. I have, but why should I help you? I'm part of the Great Rebellion. We are trying to free Etheria from the Horde, and if I don't find the castle, our cause may be in great danger. When the Horde first came here, we trolls offered to help fight them, but you humans would not accept our help. You hated us, feared us, mistrusted us, 
So we came here to Spikeheart, away from the Horde, away from your hate. I don't hate you. And if I mistrusted you, would I be here, alone, asking for your help? Hmm. It is true you are not like most other humans. You have courage. Then help me, please. I do not believe her, Uncle. She attacked us. Yet she did you no harm. Very well, Shira. I shall tell you what I can. Long ago, I searched for the castle. With my magic, I came to its gates and looked upon its magnificent beauty. And where was it? That I cannot tell you. The castle has a keeper, and I promised him I would never reveal the castle's exact location. Then how can I ever hope to find it? The castle is always where its seeker most wants it to be. In plain sight, yet never seen. This is its nature. Do you understand? Yes. Thank you, Argo. And now I must go. Time is short. My magic shall return you to your steed. I will tell the people of Etheria of your aid and your wisdom. Perhaps troll and human can be friends. If you will talk to your people on our behalf, I will talk to mine. Farewell. Looking for someone? Where were you? What happened? <laughs> no time to tell you now. We've got to get back to Bright Moon fast. The moons will be dark tonight, and Shadow Weaver will strike. Unseen. Head for it, swift wind, quickly! <laughs> swift wind, look! But how do we get in? Argo said the castle had a keeper, remember? Castle, I wish to enter! Welcome, Shira. Long have I awaited your coming. <laughs> Bright moon. There is only one way, and it is perilous. I'll do anything. Then listen well. At the heart of this planet lies the great clock which measures out all time on Etheria. You must go to the clock 
and cause it to move faster, thus speeding up time itself. In this way, the moons will again shine brightly, and Angela will have the power she needs. How do I reach this clock? I shall send you there. But beware, the clock is guarded. I'll be careful. Now, please hurry. No sooner said than done. There it is. Down, swift wind. Now, how do I speed it up? Swinging faster. Castle Bright Moon is saved, and Angela will see that it is better protected in the future. We owe you a great debt, Light Hope. It was your bravery and hope that won the day, but there is something you may do for me. Name it. I wish you to treat this castle as your personal haven. Visit it often and speak with me. It will be my pleasure. Also, you must keep the location of the castle. A secret from all those who do not know your secret. Will you do this? We'll keep your secret, Light Hope. And now, join your friends in celebration. We shall see each other again soon. Farewell, Shira, Princess of Power. Farewell, Light Hope. found the crystal castle and made bright moon forever safe from the horde. Do you know where the crystal castle is, Madame Raz? Oh, dear him, I know. That's Shira's secret. She promised Light Hope she would never, never tell, and she never has. I sure wish I could see it. Someday you will, when Etheria is free. I hope that day comes soon. We all do, dearie. We all do. were revealed to me the day I held aloft my sword and said, 
for the honor of Grayskull. A few others share this secret. Among them are Life Hope, Madam Raz, and Cowl. Together, we and my friends of the Great Rebellion strive to free Etheria from the evil forces of Horda. <laughs> Professor, the horde is so powerful and so many, and we are few. That is why we must band together, not just here in Galebreath, but all over Etheria. We are no match for their science. We are simple peasants and farmers. If we challenge the horde, they'll destroy our village and make slaves of all our people. There are people resisting the horde all over Etheria, and they are not slaves. It can be done, Theron. Time after time, we have stood up to the horde and won. The reason the Horde is still in power is that we are just a handful of people. We need your help. Horda, this is Imp. Are you getting all this? Yes. And the smooth tongues of those rebels will have everyone under their spell. If there was only a way I could silence them. I have a very thing, Horda. May I use my antenna? Take him. I have no use for him. Oh, not me, your business. Let me go get someone from the dungeons. Uh... Mantana! Stay here. What do you want him to do? Just talk, Mantana. Um, talk? I don't know what to say. How about a joke? Come, darkness. Come, trouble. Put his voice into my bubble. Louder, Mantena, I can't hear you. Oh, listen, mighty one. You've locked up his voice? Good work, Shadow Weaver. Now if you can do the same to those annoying villagers. Hordak, if you plan carefully, you might even capture the main voice of the rebels. Adora? Adora! <laughs> of Galebreath. I don't understand why the townspeople want to hear me talk. Because you're the leader of the rebellion. Well, still, it's it's very strange. No one has ever asked me to speak before. The rebels of the village feel you will inspire others to join. You certainly inspire me. Why, thank you both. This place is creepy. Not safe like Whispering Woods. I bet horde patrols are everywhere. You're not afraid, are you, Sprint? I'm not afraid of anything. <laughs> not much, you aren't. Why, I'm so brave, people come from all over to hear my tales of daring. Yeah, everyone likes a good laugh. If there was a horde trooper behind that tree, well, I'd show him. Yay! What is it? It's, it's, it's... <laughs> what is it, Frey One? <laughs> Your shadow? <laughs> a horde trooper! Where have you this time, Adora? You cannot escape! How does it feel being wrong so often, Scorpia? <laughs> Get them! <laughs> We need Shira. Hi, fellas. Want to dance?
Oh, go. Coming right up. Usually I sing, but this time I'll swing. Let me go. Are you sure you want me to let you go? No, don't let me go. Now stay right here. Don't leave me. Help! Get me down from here. I, I don't like this. Here I am, Sophia. Shira, you will feel my sting for your interference. What happened? I'm so dizzy. You just hang out there for a while. Shira, what happened to Adora? She's safe. Where is Brendan Sprague? They're all right. Uh oh. The troopers are coming back to look for us. You go on ahead. I'll take care of them. Hey, fellas, over here. Adora, you missed all the fun. Well, I knew you could handle things. Well, I didn't do it all. Shira came by and gave me a, a little help. Oh, I see. Well, I'm sure she appreciated it. Come on, Bo. The villagers are waiting. They broke through our trap. I must go to the village myself. I'll steal those rebels' voices and bring them to you. Bring Adora. I want Adora. To the village of Gale Braith, with the speed of lightning. Of course there is risk. Lesser knows that, but he's willing to join us. It is worth the risks if we're going to be free. <laughs> Shira is needed right away. So, fools of Galebreath, you thought you would join the rebellion? Well, you will pay dearly for speaking out against the Horde. Come darkness, come trouble, put each voice into a bubble! box for all these voice bubbles. One bubble box coming up. Inside, my little pearls. And now for Adora. Where is she? Tell me. Where? Oh, you can't tell me anything without your voices, can you? Well, never mind. I'll find her myself. I know you're here, Adora. Come out. Hodak is anxious to see you again. And so am I. Adora, I am losing my patience. Where are you? Must I use a spell to find you? Aha! Come, Adora. Take my hand. And we shall be in the fright zone in an instant. Stand back! Rebel fools! You should have run far from here. Now it's too late. It's never too late to smoke out evil. One smoke arrow coming up. A magician's trick won't save you. This way, quickly! Now you 
shall feel Shadow Weaver's wrath. Winds of darkness, hear and obey. Blow this rebel smoke away! They're gone! They've all escaped! <laughs> no fooling. You know, for a smart sorceress, you sure let those rebels make a fool of you. <laughs> How would you like to stay a box forever? How would you like me to tell Hordak that you were mean to me? Oh, well, oh, let's just forget it. Adora, you may have escaped this time, but I still have your voice. We will see each other again soon. Very soon. We, uh, we have to go somewhere? Your teeth, M mouth, voice. But to get the voices back. Well, sure, but where? To the Fright Zone. I think they want to go to the Fright Zone, too. It looks like they all want to be rebels now. We appreciate it, but I think Adora and I would stand a better chance alone. But we'll stay here until you return. I brought you the rebel voices, mighty one. But you did not bring me Adora. I have her voice. I don't want her voice. I want Adora. Ah, I should never rely on sorcery. That's what I hated about Skeletor. Science, machinery, these I can count on. But do not underestimate my powers, Odak. The magics of darkness are vast. It was the Horde who gave you those powers. And they can be taken back quite easily. Do not make me angry, Shadow Weaver. No! Now, are we clear on just who is in power here? Oh, yes, mighty Hordak, you are. That's better. <sighs> Thank you. I owe everything to the Horde. Of course. You were nothing but a second-rate sorceress from Mysticor when I found you. But enough about that. Mantena! Do you want your voice back, worm? Answer me! My voice is back! <laughs> Thank you, hard guy! Thank you, great one! Oh, you're welcome. Just love doing that. This is a tough one. It's one word. You want me to what? Fan Hordak? An explosion. Oh, I get it. I make some noise while you try to get the voices back. And I have just the arrow for it. What do you wish me to do about the people of Galebraith, Hordak? We must make an example of them. Here's what we'll do. What? What's that? A box of voices. Oh, it's gone. Time for a grand exit. <laughs> Spy. I'll take care of him. No, this one is mine. This box access is it's alive. Aha! Uh -huh. If it isn't him, let me go. Let me go. I'll show you. I'll change back. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna tell Hordak on you. You'll be sorry. How can I tell which one is my voice? 
are no match for their science. For the honor of... At last, I can speak! For the honor of Greystone! For bringing my voice back to me, Adora. Count me in for the rebellion. What do you say, Barris? I say, long live the rebellion. Hooray! Listen, Adora. I think even Hordak can hear them. Hi, here's your friend Loki. Did you find where I was hiding? Take another look. Here I am. You know, she ran her friends fight freedom because it's very important. One of the freedoms they fight for is called freedom of speech. It means that you have the right to talk about anything you wish. Ask your parents or teacher to tell you more about freedom of speech. It's important. Bye now. See you next time. I am Adora. He-Man's 
twin sister and defender of the Crystal Castle. This is Spirit, my beloved steed. Fabulous secrets were revealed to me the day I held aloft my sword and said, For the honor of Grayskull! A few others share this secret. Among them are Light Hope, Madame Raz, and Cowl. Together, we and my friends of the Great Rebellion strive to free Etheria from the evil forces of Horda. <laughs> into a wizard's home? <sighs> oh, you'll teach no one, old man. You do best to stay out of our way before we teach you a few things. Well, well, what is it that you want? The only thing you have that is worth possessing, old man. The moon mirror. No, the, the moon mirror is too dangerous for anyone to use. If you make one mistake, your talk bores me, wizard. Take the mirror, Grizzlo. Oh. Now that we have the moon mirror, we shall take our leave. The Horde greatly appreciates your generosity and good citizenship. <laughs> turning into my kind of day. The monument to my humble genius is nearly complete. Horde Prime has not seen fit to annoy me, and now I have the perfect way to bring Adora to us. Yes, it has been some time since Force Captain Adora deserted our ranks. That was bad enough, but when she joined the traitorous rebels, the act became unforgivable. We must make an example of her. We shall use the moon mirror to bring her here. <laughs> but the mirror is only a bridge between universes. It will not reach into the Whispering Woods and the Rebel base. I'm aware of this, but it will bring us a very powerful bait. <laughs> Adora's brother, Prince Adam of Eternia. With him in our power, we will force Adora to surrender to us. When can we activate the mirror? Very soon. When the moons are aligned, the mirror may be used. But that only happens once a year. What happens if you use the mirror when the moons are not lined up? The mirror becomes uncontrollable. It could bridge between any universe. We must not take a chance. Oh. The moons are beautiful tonight, Adam. Reminds me of a couple of fried eggs. 
Wish you tried not to think of your stomach all the time. <gasps> Look! The moons are aligned! That only happens once a year. Adam? Adam? He probably snuck off to the kitchen. Oh, just wait till I get my hands on him. Welcome, Prince of Eternia. Guards, seize him. Looks like I crashed the wrong party. to keep their weapons. <laughs> Take him to the dungeon. And send a message to Adora that until she surrenders to the whore to face punishment, <laughs> her brother will remain a prisoner of the whore. <laughs> We'll get back with those supplies soon. We're running low on food. That won't be easy. The Horde has blocked all the villages to the east. Perhaps we should go help them. <gasps> oh. That's a Horde spy bag. Leave it to me. This should be fun. The Horde always puts bombs in their spy bags. Cover your ears. Well, that's strange. Maybe it was defective. No, come back. It may be dangerous. No, it seems harmless. Hey, what's this? Looks like a message cube. Hey! Bo, what is... <laughs> Told you they'd blow up. that doing here anyway I think it was delivering a message yeah it says to the traitorous outlaw rebel Adora on it maybe it's good news hmm, I doubt it X-Force Captain Adora your traitorous defection to the enemy cannot be forgiven accordingly you will surrender yourself to the horde before nightfall or your brother Prince Adam will remain my prisoner forever! <laughs> oh no! Before nightfall, traitor! Or else! <laughs> my brother! Oh! puts bombs in everything. I must get Adam back. Of course. And we shall go with you. <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> now, Cowl. No, Cowl's right, Bo. My brother needs me, but the rebels need you here. That's right. With Adora gone, we need you more than ever. Someone must go and meet the supply group. Supplies? Not much of a job for a warrior. But an important one. I'm sorry I have to leave, Glimmer. We understand, Adora. Go now and quickly. Thank you, Glimmer. <laughs> I wish Shira could go with you. Who knows? I just might meet her along the way. <laughs> Out of sight, Spirit. For the honor of Grayskull!
win. Fly. There's no time to lose. I still think we should have gone with her. Now, Bo, you know we're needed here. Oh, <laughs> hello. I'm looking for the rebels. Are you rebels? Maybe. Who wants to know? Me, Catalus, the wizard. Why are you looking for rebels, Catalus? The horde stole something from me that I must get back. But I need help. I thought that the rebels might assist me. You may be right. What was stolen? My mirror. Your mirror? Forget it. But it was the magical moon mirror. With it, you can reach other universes. If it is misused, it could destroy this planet. Why didn't you say so? Well, we must get it back. And while I'm at it, I'll help Adora rescue her brother. Bo! Then you are rebels. We are. Come on, Catalyst. If we hurry, we can still catch Adora. And on the way, I'll show you a few tricks of my own. Oh, you were supposed to stay here! Supplies can wait, Glimmer. We're off to save Etheria. You're able to fly, Swift Wind. The Horde appears to be expecting Adora to rescue her brother. Fortunately, they were not expecting She-Ra to get involved. Well, that's new, and pretty ugly, too. You will be hidden here. I'll be back as soon as I can, with my brother. Good fortune, Shira. I'll be waiting. The dungeons are down there. <laughs> Made it. Lucky I remember this place so well. This corridor leads to the dungeon. And Adam. <laughs> Oh, not even close. Oh, no. Hey! Get back. Now, back your posts, men. Keep a sharp lookout for Adora. Is there any place left we haven't searched? There's the reactor chamber. No, she wouldn't go in there. It's the wrong place to look, Shira. Shira! That should take care of them for a while. We'd better get going before the others come back. Just let me get my sword. Too late, Adam. Let's get out of here. What? It is, it's She-Ra, Dreadlord. She has freed the prisoner, Adam. She-Ra! If they have rescued our prisoner, then we must get another. Activate the moon mirror. This time, we shall take King Randor. <laughs> oh. But hold up. The moon's are not aligned. I cannot control it. You question me? Oh, no, Hordak. Ah, I, I can feel it. The, the mirror is up there. Then that is where we've got to go. Uh, how are we going to get past them? Well, we need a distraction. Hey, see that spy camera over there? Well, what good will that do us? You don't know the Horde like I know the Horde. <laughs> And now for my diamond arrow. It'll stick in anything. Ah, oh, 
you, you climb. I'm a wizard, remember? I think we lost him, Adam. Finally. By the power of Grey Skull. <laughs> Now as She-Ra and He-Man, I think we can make our way out of here. She-Ra and He-Man! Where's Adora and Adam? Safe. Great! Who's your sticky-footed friend? This is Catalyst, the wizard. The Horde stole his magic mirror that can bridge between dimensions. And he says that if they use it wrong, it could be disastrous. Yes, they're using it now. We must hurry to Hordak's throne room. I know the way. Come on, He-Man. Bring me King Randor, and hurry. I need another hostage. I'm trying, Hordak, but I can't control the mirror if the moon's... I'll hear no excuses, Weaver. Yes, Hordak. I think I have it. Now. Oh, no. The mirror has bridged to the doom dimension. it up somehow. That's it. But what can we use? There's nothing in here big enough. No, but I know where we can find something that'll just fit. And there it is. Fine with me. I always thought that was an ugly monument. Let's do it. Whoa. Just the word I was looking for. 
And so your brother is safely back home. It was very brave of you to go rescue him, Adora. Bo? He-Man said you were a big help. Thank you. You're welcome. That was a heavy responsibility. Oh, not so heavy, Glimmer. He's my brother. My beloved steed. Fabulous secrets were revealed to me the day I held aloft my sword and said, For the honor of Grayskull! Few others share this secret. Among them are Light Hope, Madame Raz, and Cowl. Together, we and my friends of the Great Rebellion strive to free Etheria from the evil forces of Horda. <laughs> Oh, that, oh, that, that's all. 
Come on, we better tell the others the bad news. <laughs> with the throwing of a single lever. Up, up and away in my wicked doom balloon. Well, at least Hordak would never attack in a storm like this. Beautiful, isn't it? It looks so close. I could reach out and touch it. <laughs> Dora, the bow. <laughs> Come quickly. Hordak is attacking. <sighs> Stop him somehow. Look, it's Shira. Come on, Hordak. Now try picking on somebody your own side. This should curl your hair for you. She's overloading the circuits. It's going to blow. My doom balloon is doomed. <laughs> Me back. Did I stop Hordak? 
<laughs> you, you destroyed his machine, but he captured Bo. Oh, no. I think we'll need Shira to ride to the rescue. For the honor of Grayskull. For the honor of Grayskull. What's wrong? I'm not changing. <laughs> oh, no, Adora. Look at the stone in the saw. It's cracked. Then I can never become Shira again. Without this stone, my sword has no powers. I can't become Shira. We'd better go see Light Hope. Uh, but, but, but you need Swift Wing to fly you to the top of Sky Dancer Mountain. I'll climb. No one can climb Sky Dancer. Watch me. <laughs> And what if you do make it to the top? Without your sword's power, you can't get into the Crystal Castle. I'll worry about that when I get there. And stop being so negative. Right now, Bo is probably locked up in some horrible horde cell. Ooh! He's depending on us. If you should fall, I'll keep you company all the way down. Shira! If I ever get out of here, you'll be sorry. Oh, calm yourself, my pretty little pet. This cage will be your new home. For a long, long time! <laughs> We have to turn back now. You'd have to climb upside down to get past that. <sighs> then that's just what I'll do. <laughs> that should do the trick. Oh. Adora! I'm all right. For now, no use hanging around here. So 
we can pick up more speed. Ugh, wish we could reach the bottom. I'm getting dizzy. Hang in there. We'll be stopping soon. <laughs> How soon? As soon as we hit that wall up ahead. Oh, no. Lean to the side. <laughs> I'm glad that's over. It's not over yet. It's a cave. Follow me. the challenge of the never-ending maze and find the rainbow grotto. There in the forbidden corner, you will find the cavern of fire. I must leave you now. Farewell, Light Hope, and thank you. Let's find our way out of this maze. Takes more than prison bars to hold me. Well, those bars are made from pure Moralian scrap, the strongest metal in the galaxy. I'll get out. You'll see. Zero. Well, we've been in here for a long time, and we're still lost. We'll find our way out. Look, there's the forbidden corner. I've got a feeling that this won't be easy. <laughs> that is, this is an understatement. Well done, Adora. You have reached the Cavern of Fire. Home of the first ones. You must enter alone. You can't go in there, Adora. It would be like walking into an oven. I've come this far. I'll go. You make me proud. Welcome, Adora. We are the first ones. You have come far to seek our help in returning you to Shira. You were brave to climb Sky Dancer. You were wise to use the shield to outrun the spike to ball. You were swift in escaping the cave in, agile in avoiding the falling rocks of the Forbidden Corner, and brave to risk entering the Cavern of Fire. And you did all this for a friend. Are these not the qualities of Shira? Try your sword, Adora. For the honor of Grayskull! escapes from here. Then my friends will get me out. <laughs> Even Shira couldn't break through the force field that surrounds Fright Zone Prison. Your backflip was terrific, but your landings need work. Shira, get her, Grizzla. <laughs> Attack! Hello, boys. Oh, don't fall all over yourselves getting to me. Is this how you get girls to fall for you, Hordak? Funny joke, but this time I'm going to have the last laugh. 
You certainly are. Have some giggle belly powder. <laughs> It's time for me to get you out of there. Thanks, Shira. You are a real friend. What are friends for? Come on, Bo. Let's get out of here. <laughs> See you around, Tin Man. I'll say one thing for you, Hordak. You sure are a happy loser. I'll get you for this! I'll get you for this! I am Adora. He-Man's twin sister and defender of the Crystal Castle. This is Spirit, my beloved steed. Fabulous secrets were revealed to me the day I held aloft my sword and said, For the honor of Grayskull! A few others share this secret. Among them are Light Hope, Madame Raz, and Cowl. Together, we and my friends of the Great Rebellion strive to free Etheria from the evil forces of Horda! <laughs> Hurry, children. Our school has two very special visitors today. Class, I'd like you to meet... Adora and Bo. They've come to tell us some things about the Horde and the Rebellion. Thank you, Serena. Um, I know you've been told... Cory, late again? Sorry. Please excuse the interruption, Adora. Uh, go ahead. Your teacher has already told you that Etheria was not always ruled by the Horde. Before they came, this was a lovely, peaceful planet. That's what? not true! Corey, please don't interrupt! That's all right. Um, I'd like to answer. It's the truth, Corey. The Horde invaded Etheria and took away our freedom, our liberty. That's a lie! The Horde says that they came here because they were invited. They brought peace to Etheria. That's a Horde lie. I used to believe their lies, too. You see, I was a member of the Horde until I found out what they were really like. Uh-oh. And here they are. We'll be back another day to tell you some more truths. from official hard books. As for your books, they're only good for one thing. To burn. Glad to oblige. Bo, give me a big push. One giant swing coming up. Hmm, I'll stop you. You can't outsmart the horde. Hmm, let me down. Later, I always wanted a partner for my trapeze act. <laughs> I haven't had 
nice slide down. And tell Hordak, X-Force Captain Adora said hello. Shira. Greetings, people of Northland. We have come to free you from the evil books of the rebels. going to get you out of there. Oh, never mind about me. How are the children? They're safe. Now stand back. All right, Swifty. Pull! Sorry, Serena. <gasps> Without books, there will be nothing to prevent the Horde from teaching the children lies. The Horde is really your friend. The Horde wants peace. The rebels are really bad. They're criminals, bandits, thieves, and robbers. No, that's not true. 
Whoever said that, stand up. Stand up, I said. I said it. No, uh, I said it. No, I said it. I, I, I did. I said it. Stop it. Stop it. Come back here. You come back here. You go. All right, all right. You'll see. I'll send you all to school in the... Right zone. Do you think he means it? I don't know, but we'd better tell Adora. I'm following two rebel lovers to their camp. <laughs> you are very brave to come here and tell us, Sarah and Brian. Do you think the Horde will really take away all the children? Not if we can help it. The rebels are planning to come to town and rescue the children. Once again, coming to your aid. Because your school is not good enough for your children, we are sending them to a special horde school. No! We don't want them to go to your school. Troopers, clear the square. After a week in the fright zone, these children will believe any lies we tell them. As I reported, the Rebels will be here any minute. Good work, Corey. Help! Help! Mommy! Daddy! That sounds like Ariane! Corey, don't let them take me! Stop! You can't take her! She's my sister! Hey! You have to let my sister go! We have to let her go? Who says who? I say so! I'm a member of the Horde, and I... You? A member of the Horde? <laughs> we used you, boy. But we don't need you anymore. You can go with the other children. Put him in the transport. No! You can't do that! Never mind. He's not important. A member of the Horde. <laughs> see the Horde for what it really is. They don't care about people, but the Rebels do. They will save the children. Oh, no! The Horde knows they're coming! They've set a trap! How do you know that? Because I'm the one who told them! We've got to warn Adora! All the troopers are around in front. We can get into the transport by that rear door. All right, then, let's go. It's unlocked. Come on. They must be in another part. Come on. Let's look here. before they see you. No! All right, close it up. It's time to go. Oh, oh, there. Who is it? Corey, what are you doing here? I came to help. It was my fault you got caught. All right. Can you get me my sword? I think I saw it outside. Be careful. You've been very brave, but now it's time for you to go home. Aw, uh, can I help some more? 
The way you can help the most is to go home and take care of your family. All right, Adora, whatever you say. For the honor of Grayskull! Just stop them. The children might get hurt. Hey, what's going on? Must be a detour. Turn right. Hey, it's a dead end. There's no way out. Something's wrong here. Better back up. Surprise! End of the line, boys. Hey, it's Shira. Back up quick. <laughs> Can't get out. Doors jammed. Shira, you arrived just in time. Glad to be here, but we have to do something about Tongue, Rattler, and the rest of the troopers. No, no, no! She did it again. Shira did it again. She made the horde look like fools. She didn't have me to deal with, and now she does. Uh-oh. Hordak. And unless the rebels surrender, and you bring back the children to me, we will destroy your homes, your whole village. We'll burn it to the ground, and I'll give you a sample right now. to put out that fire. Uh-oh, here comes trouble. Here comes rain. Keep your tongue to yourself. That's not funny, Shira. Untie me. <laughs> now that's what I'd call tongue tie. What's the matter with them? Rust. The rain has rusted the robots. <laughs> <laughs>
missed all the fun, Adora. I'm sure you were magnificent, Bo. Well, uh, I was rather good. Of course, Shira helped too. Looks like the people are going to haul the hordesmen to the edge of the fright zone and dump them, along with Hordak. I bet he won't be back here for a long time. You're quite a hero, Cory. I'm sorry I caused you so much trouble, teacher. I didn't know the truth about the horde. Oh, guess it was because I wasn't very good about reading. I'd like to be your friend, if you want. Me too. Maybe we can help you with your reading. Hey, I'd like that. I'd like it a lot. Hi, it's me, Lucky. Did you find where I was hiding? If not, take another look. See me here? Here I am. You know, sometimes we don't appreciate things until they're taken away from us. Take books, for instance. It would be terrible if they were taken away. Being free to read anything we wish is a right we must never lose. Bye now. <laughs> See you next time.